At Pasea Life, we work to identify young adults' predictable thought patterns and unproductive behavior patterns. We then teach students how to make a shift in these patterns with the intention of getting sustainable results. Most students fall into one of two predictable categories. 75% of students demonstrate a series of unhealthy predictable thought patterns and behavior patterns in the first hours or days of arrival. Let's take a look at how these patterns might play out. First, and perhaps the most common unproductive behavior pattern we see is blaming. The student blames everyone and everything except themselves. For instance, they might call their parents and complain that they are bored and that there is nothing for them to do at Pasea. The parents then might call their educational consultant or even the CEO directly and demand answers on their child's behalf, only to find out that in fact it was the student who is refusing to participate in any of the activities that have been offered. The second unproductive behavior pattern we see is avoidance. This often comes in the form of the student calling the parents, claiming, I never see my coach, or my coaches refuse to meet with me. But when parents make the rescue phone call again, they quickly find out that in fact it was the student that is not responding to the communication from coaches. If parents would ask to have a conference call with the PASEA coaches and their young adult when complaints are made, it often leads to very different information coming out and prevents the young adult from playing the avoidance card. The final predictable unproductive behavior pattern most often seen from the students in the first week is demonization. They call the parents and may say something like, PASEA isn't helping me with any of my problems. The dishwasher is broken and PASEA won't fix it for me. Stop wasting your money and get me out of here. The parents yet again make the rescue phone call demanding to know why the dishwasher hasn't been fixed. In reality, coaches go over a variety of independent living challenges that may come up and direct students towards how to handle those situations. In this case, all the student needed to do was submit a work order online and maintenance takes care of it in a few days. Are you starting to notice another pattern in these behaviors? It's the way that you, the parent, might react to these situations. When a student blames, avoids, and demonizes, they often reach out to their parents in the hopes of being rescued. This is important because it's predictable and avoidable. When you see your young adult blaming, avoiding, or demonizing, think about how you would like to respond. Will you rescue them or empower them? Now let's take a look at the other 25% of our more mature students. These young adults arrive ready to stay focused on their tutori or life map and are solution oriented. Some of these behavioral patterns typically look like this. In just the first day or two, these more mature students arrive and have reached out to their coaches to schedule their first several appointments. They check in with their coaches regularly, keeping both coaches and parents informed on their weekly progress. The parents of these students don't ever get rescue phone calls. Instead, these parents get results calls from the student with updates on what successes they are creating. But remember, these are only about 25% of our students. The other 75% come ready to blame, avoid, and demonize. These students expect to be rescued. These patterns are unproductive and predictable, but they can be broken. This isn't easy, but Pasea Life is committed to helping you and your young adult break these patterns and create healthy new ones. Which percentage will your student fall into, and how will you respond?